Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and today we're going to make a vintage Santa frame using one of my printables and a frame that I picked up at the Salvation Army thrift store. This frame is really detailed and super pretty, so we're just going to take it up a notch. So I'm going to take it and paint. I used two different color reds. I'm going to paint the whole entire frame using that red, and I ended up doing two coats, and this is just like a deep burgundy color. And you want to make sure that you stipple really well to get into all of those little cracks and crevices in the detail of the frame. This frame had a lot of detail, but it was just that really dark brown color and it was just, yuck. I think I got it for $1.99. And the thrift stores are great places to find frames like this. And look how pretty this frame is. I mean, really, it is gorgeous. Next, I'm gonna take my brown wax and I'm going to spread that all over the frame. And this is just gonna give it more of an aged, rustic, antique -y look. And I'm gonna go over the whole thing and then as I'm doing this, I'm gonna wipe it off with a cloth. Cause I don't want it to be too dark. I want the red to still show through, but I wanna give it that aged look back. And I'm using like a very hard stippled, bristled brush to do so. And I'm wiping off as I'm doing it. I'm just using a baby wipe to wipe it off. I'm going to go around the whole entire frame. You want to really make sure that you get in all of the detail so that the wax sits down into the detail. And you can do as much of this as you want. You don't have to do this part at all. If you don't want the darkness and you just want the bright red frame, you can totally not do this part at all and let it just sit with the red but look how amazing it comes out. Oh, I love it. And now it looks really, really vintage. Next, I'm gonna take some gold rub and buff and I'm just gonna put some on my finger and I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna get the detail from all of those raised pieces. And look at how this just brings it all to life. This frame had so much detail and I just couldn't let it just sit all dark like that. So I'm gonna take that rub and buff and just put it all over the detail, all along the edges, and I think this just brings everything on this frame to life. It lets the vintage look stay and brings out the detail in the frame. This was such a good find at the thrift store. This frame was. It's beautiful. Anytime I see frames like this, I always buy them. Because you never know when you're going to have a project like this that you need a frame like this for. And look how gorgeous this turned out absolutely beautiful. Next, I'm going to take that printable. This is in my shop. I'll put the link below. Next, I'm going to just Mod Podge that right onto the backing of the frame. My frame didn't actually come with a backing, so I just cut one out of a piece of cardboard that I had. This actually came in the Dollar Tree calendars, and I just kind of cut a piece of it. And I'm just going to put a lot of Mod Podge, a nice thick coat because I painted printed my printable on a piece of cardstock and I get my cardstock at Walmart. It's super cheap. I think you get like a hundred pieces for like seven bucks or something like that. So where I printed it on cardstock, it's a little thick. So I wanted to make sure that I got a lot of Mod Podge on there so that it was held really well. I'm just going to smooth that out with my hands. And I love this printable. It is so cute. Definitely has the vintage vibe. And once that is all dry onto that backing, I'm going to take some of the brown wax and I really want this to be aged. So I'm gonna take a baby wipe and I'm just gonna dip it into the brown wax and then I'm just gonna rub it all over this entire printable just to darken the whole thing up. You don't, again, have to do this part. If you wanna leave the printable as is, that's totally fine. But I really wanted it to have an aged look. Not that it already didn't, but I really wanted it to have a deeper aged look. So I'm just gonna add some brown wax all over the whole thing. Just using a baby wipe, dipping it into the brown wax a little bit and then rubbing it on the picture. And look how pretty that is. I love it. I liked it before. Now I'm just gonna make sure that it's fully dry. And then we're gonna glue that into the frame. So I'm just gonna use some super glue from Dollar Tree. 
and then I'm gonna add some hot glue. So the super glue will hold it for a long period of time and the hot glue will hold it temporarily while I finish the project. I'm gonna pop that Santa right in there. Give it a hold for a minute to make sure that it seals. And look how cute this is. I love it. Has the perfect vintage vibe. Next, I'm going to take some greenery and I'm going to hot glue that up into the top left-hand corner. I'm just going to put a big blob of glue there. And then I'm just going to set my greenery in it and let that dry. And again, you don't have to do this part. You can leave it just plain as is. I just wanted it to have a little bit more pizzazz. Now that I have all of my greenery on there, I'm gonna let that dry a minute. And then I have made a bow previously, and I'm gonna hot glue that right to the center of my greenery. Again, these are parts that you don't have to do if you wanna just leave Santa in the frame as is. It looks absolutely stunning that way also. once I have my bow all set in there, I'm going to take these two brass bells that I had and I'm going to hot glue them right on top of the bow in the center. And I always clip off the backs of my bells again so that they don't have the loop. They sit a little more flush. These ones were real black brass, so they were really hard to clip off. So I ended up only doing one of them because there was quite a project. Next, I'm going to put those, like I said, right in the center of the bow, and I use, ended up using two of them. And then they were kind of shiny, so I didn't want them to be that shiny, so I'm going to take some more of that brown wax. I'm just going to put a little bit on a paintbrush, and then I just kind of dab it onto the bells. That kind of tones down the brightness of them. You can do this with the Dollar Tree bells, too. It works amazing. It just kind of tones down the brightness of them and gives them a little bit more of a vintage vibe. And look how cute this is. I love it. And fix my bow a little bit. And now here's where I'm going to add the wax to it. And like I said, just a tiny, tiny bit. You just put it on a little paintbrush, dab off the excess, and then just kind of dab it on there really lightly. And it just tones down the brightness. That's all. And if you like the bright, you can, like I said, leave it that way. All of my projects are done to my liking, but you can definitely take the idea and run with it and make these projects your own. You don't have to find the exact same things, etc. You can just take it and make it with what you have on hand. And like I said, this printable is available in my store along with a few other different vintage Santas and a few vintage snowmen. And they're perfect for projects like this. I think this just turned out absolutely stunning. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to spread the chaos.